Hey guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back. Today I'm doing one of my favourite videos to film, and it's a pouch video. Um, I've done loads of pouch videos on my channel, and that's because I'm constantly switching them up, switching them around to do, you know, what's best for me. This is a Hobonichi draw pouch. It's a large size, and this thing is stuffed like I, I can't fit any more in like I need to have a think about one thing that I will show you so this pouch is really cool because it it just stands open it stands open and you've got everything that you need so this time this planner pouch is set up for journaling so my daily journal which is in this pouch You've seen loads of times. It's my oh, it's my Hobonichi full year cousin, which I do my dailies. Well, I do monthly highlights, weekly memory planning, and then daily journaling. So this is kind of set up to to plan in that to set up the daily pages to. Um, there is stuff to do weeklies, uh, to, to decorate, like there's, there's, there's a bit of everything in here. So, first off, I'll start with these two back pockets here. These um, photo albums are Hobonichi photo albums and uh, like I, I love them, I use them for loads of stuff. So what I did yesterday is I sorted through all of my um, die cuts, but the stickers, and I put them in groups and I put them in here. Now this, if this was thinner, the, the um, and these weren't in there, it wouldn't be as much of a squeeze at all. It's only because I've got these two things in here, three things in here, but I do need them. So, like, and I know I've got die cuts and things to use. So this is all like planning girl and shopping and, you know, girl boss kind of stuff, planning. This is all like little coffee. This is like inspirational stuff. Um, like, um... Blossom Nose Co and, and things like that. This is anything, I don't know why that's in there, that shouldn't be in there. This is anything that's like foiled, that's got some foiled stuff on it. If I want to add some foil, I'll just put that at the back there. I think I found it after the fact yesterday and just stuffed it in there. This is animals, so I've got some llamas, um, some butterflies, some dinosaurs, things like that. This is like quaint stuff and vintage stuff like old typewriters and things like that then i've got one for bows and um, this one came in a um dk designs sub box and i absolutely loved it in fact i've recently set up a page with those stickers and i absolutely love it where is it because i sat down yesterday after i'd packed it all out i sat down yesterday and i did some forward planning because i'd only set up pages so i used some of those stickers there and i love it and then i've just set up the daily pages um ready to use and it was so much easier having the stickers there like to use and know what I've got and what I haven't got. This is all girls. I love these as little ones, as big ones, like a mixture of girls drinking coffee and things. And then these are um they're from Powder World. These are little girl stickers and, and things like that. This one's a mixed match of like a pack I bought off um Amazon. It's got like Chanel, YouTube, like different random stuff in there so that's really good to have like when I want to set up some pages and stuff so that's in there and then another thing that's in here is these two little photo albums now this one is mainly the two for two that I buy from 
little balloon papery and then we've got some alvey planning deco in there as well so it's all just like deco pieces like small deco pieces in there and then in here I have my like little on the go kits as I like to call them so this is little balloon papery love these happy sherpa do the small ones as well I could take these let it snow and snow out and then I've still got like the happy scrappy happy scrappy kits that I've like got all like the cherry blossom stuff and put them all together so there's three of those which live at the back because they stick out a little bit so like I've got more than enough stuff to like I could plan a week with one of those kits and I'm gonna use one of those kits coming up soon um so yeah so those are the um massive <laughs> things that make it so chunky but you know I can't plan or anything without these so that's why they're in there I do need to try and think of another way of using it so in this section here Apart from this, this is just a little random kit from DUK Designs that I can use. And then I've just chucked in foils, but not foiled writing, just foiled like little uh, full box covers and things like that. Just in case I want to do like a foil spread, I've just put them in loosely there. And then we go into the card slot section. So in this card slot section here I just have all my gonk stickers that I've got through getting all the gonk kits I just wanted to have them out and then also when you buy the kit you get like these and it gives you like some um what are they called like little quotes and um positivity themed headers so I've kept I've kept those separate as well if in case I want to bring something in I can just see what quotes are on there easy uh, in this one here I'm just keeping my um, little boards that come with the sterling ink sub and then we go down to the next line I have got um, a blue stencil from Hobonichi. I do need to put my green one in there as well. Uh, and then this, these are from Powder World. These are big stickers that I wanted to, I, I think, oh, I've got those, but where are they? Now I'm just putting everything in a place. These were from uh, the Grumpy Tortoise, I think it was, uh, Advent Calendar, and it's all the days, um, all the months there and they're all like a, a pinky goldy kind of colour they're vinyls so they go in there because I keep forgetting I've got them and then just down in this one I've got a washi card with some washi on and then I've got a like a metal card for when I'm cutting my washi and that's all I've got in those little pockets there the next thing I've got is these two things so this one is sterling ink so I recently changed my subscription to a a all uh, clear subscription so these are from old ones but they're just absolutely stunning and I just wanted to put them all in one place so that if I want to bring in some florals that I can and these are matte so you know it's so easy to decorate a daily page with these in my journal so those are the matte stickers that I have the big um, the big stickers that I have go in this folder here and the washi goes in that folder there so they're like the big ones that I use when I'm doing plan with me's and then I've got these which are on the matte paper 
that's one of my favourites, it's stunning and I keep these in this little pouch, these are all the little matte ones so they stay in this pocket and then like through the uh, getting washing and things like that. I've had some freebies so I've just decided to keep them because they go along the same kind of theme and then inside is the little like little icons I suppose you could call them so people use them as icons to mark what they're doing um, and there's quite a lot of these you get one in every kit and then um, we go on to when you get the kit you get dailies and you get um, you get date covers and dots so you get two lots of date covers and you get dots so I've decided to keep these separate from my little um, pouch that has all my date covers in because this they all go together don't they they all go together in a kit so they go like that and they all fit in this little jelly pouch these little jelly pouches we've we've made ourselves like I, I buy the jelly and Chris sews it for me so we've got that and then this is a, another little kind of pouch now these are the kind of things that I'm looking everywhere for because I put them put them in like every planner and then when it comes to wanting to use them like I can't find any so I thought if I take them out of the planners and put them all in one space I know where they are so these are the little like monthly calendar things that I made myself like I did the pound signs for paydays and then this is more like a study one meal one weather some calendar dates a home one filming one there's bathing, podcasts, walking, telly, coffee, you know, all the different ones on there that are good for like monthly and small weekly setups. And then these um, stickers were here, there and everywhere and I wasn't using them. So I bought these out. The reason I put the travel one at the front is because we're going to my dad's funeral soon. So I wanted to remember that I had this travel one there. Um, I've just got some functionals. This is silver foiled. This is the planner mum one. Planner minimum mini one, sorry. This is the work mini and then planner mini in clear social media social media social media on mat home on clear home work health a little paper case sample and then you get I keep getting these from Albie Planning and I really want to use them. So I've got those in there as well. And they fit perfectly in this little pouch. Can't remember where I got the pouch from, but it has been on one of my older haul videos. So, yeah, that is where those just live in here I like having things in pouches rather than loose so I can just pull out a pouch um, these are like clear stickers that I wanted to keep I found these yesterday and I just thought it's the kind of thing that I would put in my journal especially these happy dyer ones some really positive reset your mind cheer up buttercup you're amazing have the courage to be kind and then there is some like planner baskets and things like that on this one which is a long strip and then we've got these clear ones um, with the last thing with the last sub box and I just think they look cute and I wanted to use them so I've kept them out like loose like this in this side the next thing I have is a, another pouch and this is uh, emotions so any kind of emotion will be in this pouch I need to sort through um, the rest of my stickers and put all of them together so this is once more with love crying and then just different kind of facial expressions this is Laura Jane style I put her with the Lauren Jane style. That's once more with love, 
Laura Jane style, loads of hers, I love her puppets. They are adorable. So any kind of like emotional puppet or um, emoti or what does one more my love call her? I can't remember. And these are from Blossom Nose Co. These are really cute. Again, I keep forgetting to use them. It says, you can change the world, girl. I used to love using these. That says out of fucks. Friday's my save, my favourite F word. And then some scripts. I might put those at the front, actually, just to make sure that I am using them. A little weekend sticker that I'm never using. And chuck it in the fuck it bucket. Love those. So if I put those like that, I'll see them. So that is my little, like, emotions. Because whenever I'm journaling, it is most... Mo most... It is mostly about emotions, so that's handy to have there. And then on the other side, I do have these that are loose, just because they're like my faves and I want to use them. So I've got the Coffee Monster Co. Seals, I've got some old, um, oh, what's it called? I have the kits. Oh. I can't remember. Old stickers there that I use on the journal. Uh, happy Scrappy, that's it, that I use on the journaling papers. Some um, freebies that I get. I like to keep just loose in here. Um, I really like animal print, so I've kept those in there. These are freebies from Alvi Planning Co. I do like these because you get a full box on them and it's easy to decorate a page. These I... Um, made myself using their files and I've got some hedgehoggy ones another one of these happy dyer um, sticker sheets because you know it's got TV cars washing machine presents there's loads of stuff on there and these had been in a planner and I hadn't been using them at all and because I forgot I had them but you know like, I love these I absolutely love them so there is there they're in the author range and it's things like just fucking do it already get the fuck on with it like right now it i bought it for when i was studying but there's loads on there that you can use there's a bad moods one epic fucking meltdown out of fucks fucking you fuck like i should be using these every day there's good moods one as well which is always a positive one glass away from a good day oh happy day and then i've got the good moods one in matte and i've got the bad moods one in matte and I've got the author one in matte as well. So I wanted to keep those um, where they can be seen so that I use them. So they're just loose in here. Next up we have, oh, not true, these pouches. So this one is just a pouch I made and I shoved it in one of my planners. But it's just, it's deco. It's deco that's come, like with other kits. I've not really known what what to do with them. I didn't like that one. So I thought, you know, on a week's or something like that, I can use these little deco sheets. And I know that everything to do with journaling is in here. So I'll know where to look. Next up, I have Little Bloom papery kits in here. These are the ones that she does on the $2 Tuesday. This is my favourite. This is like the Eden one. The colours in this are amazing. So you get boxes and you get florals and you can get the washi strip and the functional boxes. Some more functional boxes, and then this one's called Ava, and we've got some like watercolour splotches, some washi, some functionals, more functionals, and then you get these as well, which are little tiny kits. So I've got Holly and Grace in those. So these all live, and I can't believe like they fit in there. Like they were made, that pouch was made for it. I don't know where I got this pouch from either. But yeah, I love that. 
and I knew I had these and I kept putting them away in places but I never knew where so that is that and then finally I've got this this uh, little pouch is from an old DEK designs sub box and these are my powder world um, kits which sometimes are a little hard to use as like a um, weekly spread but setting up daily pages in my home and each cousin will be easy with these like these some of these stickers are massive i love all the greens and things i love these because they're they're like tabbed stickers so you do get boxes in this one and you get like pl planners and jumpers and these are actually washi strips so there's that one and then this one love the colors of this coffee laptop there's a big girl there thing with these is they're so pretty you don't want to use them and i always cut out the little the little like bow and the planner and stuff like that so i can use them as well look at that so cool and then we've got like a little thin washi strip and that so we have those and then we have these ones love that girl love that girl they're just so bright and like fun to use so if i've got like a day where you know i can't i've used this one this is the one that i've used before um, and I repurchased it. On the days where you've not got much to write and you just want to fill the page, these are like the best to use. So, and they fit in this pouch perfectly as well. Because these were just in with my sticker kits and I was never pulling for them. So, and that, well, let's have a look in here. So I have put a few things in here. So I have got my slice tool. I have got a Muji pen. I've got some whiteout correction tape. I've picked like three of my favorite washes. I can kind of do something with any of those. And then obviously a ruler and a pair of tweezers and I kind of try and like stack these on top of each other so that they're not bulking out the thing because it is quite hard to close but I am going to ham I am going to have a look and see if there's a better way of storing these kind of stickers here oh and then on the outside pouch as well I have all of my uh, B and Bethany Rose gonk sticker kits because again I'm not pulling for them I'm not using them I've got one Lily Blossom Designs one at the back but um, yeah I just want to I want to start using what I've got and I love gonks so they just live in this little outside pocket here and you know it's it's a squeeze guys i am not gonna lie Ugh. and that's why i tend to just have the oh my tassels come off that's all right i'll get that i'll put that back on but yeah that's it that is my planning pouch and oh i really need to put that back on um yeah that's it what do you think i know there's a lot in here but i know where everything is and that's the thing like i was i didn't know where everything was before i was like i know i've got some like of these stickers but i don't know where i've put them oh i can't remember where i've put my emoji stickers or my sterling ink stickers or my vinyls and now everything to do with like journaling and stuff is in here and um yeah i like it that means i just have to grab a planner and a bag but it is these that's making it difficult for it to shut properly 
but yeah that's it guys that is my home and Inchi draw pouch what i'm using it for right now um i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one bye